Hi guys, Foo here, and it's time for one of my favorite times of the year, haunted house season. Now, Majinoni and I have kind of been on a journey to find what we think is the best haunted house in Arizona. And uh, our third stop was Chambers of Fear. This was a new one for us. It's only been in the valley a couple of years, so I was really interested to see what they had cooked up. It's at um, 11340 West Bell Road in Surprise, Arizona. Um, it was $20 to get in, but they only take cash. There is an ATM on site, though, but come prepared with cash. And their website's chambersoffear.com. It has um, three mazes. There's a main maze that, um, kind of like 13th floor, takes you through multiple sort of styles and rooms and themes. There's a maze that is similar, but I think superior, to the, um, the Nest's Darkness maze. And then there is a um, hillbilly zombie maze. I'm not really sure on the theme. I'll sort of explain that when we get there. But um, they have some people roaming the line while you wait to sort of get you in the mood, freak you out. And uh, one of the girls in the group in front of us didn't even make it through the intro room, which I was super excited about when she came around. I was like, oh, it's that scary. Wonderful. Wonderful. So the intro room is really great and scary. They sort of have some stuff going on that tells you the rules of the maze and sort of gets you in the mood and scares you a little bit and then you move into the maze itself. Um, overall, the quality on these um, varies. Some of the rooms are really great. Others are a little bit blank. But the, so the scares here are really, really amazing. They play with ducking and sort of moving through the space weird. Um, they really know how to make you move through the space the way they want you to move through the space. And I think this is probably, this is one of the more solid scares. Production value-wise, it's not as good as the 13th floor. Um, it's far superior to some of the other ones we've hit. But scare-wise, I think this one may be my favorite. They really played with um, what you expect to happen in a haunted house. There were a couple of rooms where I see a row of dummies, and I know one of them's going to pop out. So I'm going to hug the other wall, but oh! That other wall's all dummies, too. They did a couple of things like that where they sort of they know you're going to want to hug the opposite wall, so they don't give you any wall space. Um, there's some good things going on with the lighting, and there were actually a couple instances where I didn't want to move into the next room. I was sort of scared to do that, and there were some good solid scares. There's a whole bunch of themes they go with. You get a mansion type thing going on, you got clowns, you got some mummies, you got a little bit of everything that you could think of as traditionally scary. I think the only one that was really disappointing to me was there was sort of a modern demon with like scrawling all over the walls and maybe the demon just hit us at the wrong time but it wasn't really scary um aside from that one all the actors here were good everything they made you do was great i think they were playing with you psychologically really well i think the only real issue i have is um there's some blank space between each of these sections that's just like black plywood and a couple of the things i think could be a bit higher quality but there's some really great animatronics in here, and there's some amazing, amazing scares. So this is definitely worth a look. The um, second maze, they tell you to put your hands on the shoulders of the person in front of you, and do not touch the walls. That's my best part. Um, the Nest Darkness is sort of a similar thing where it's a super low light situation, and then they're going to play with flashing bright lights in your face and loud noises. This one does the same thing, but I think it's more successful. The Nest Darkness, the walls are about that far apart and you can literally just go through the whole maze like this and that wasn't terribly scary perhaps they changed that this year I haven't gotten a chance to go yet but I don't feel like this was very successful um, this maze gives you an, well, a more wide open dark space and not complete darkness but a low enough light level that you can almost kind of barely see where you're going so you do want to reach out and touch the walls but you can't so you're sort of maneuvering through this space you really don't want to be in. There's some great things going on with, um, with lights and sounds. There's some stuff that comes down and touches you in your face. That's really great. There was one really great actress at the, towards the end of this maze. Superb job. Now I'm sure when the lights come up from this, it's going to be like trash, black trash bags over, you know, foam or something. But because of the low light situation, that doesn't matter at all. It's 
really scary. They're playing with you psychologically, and it was really great. And the times that people do jump out, perfect. The actors, again, had really great timing and were really solid actors in and of themselves. The final maze um, started out with uh, some toxic waste spills and a guy telling you, don't, don't go, they didn't come back, you have, to, you have to stay here, don't go, don't go. And then you sort of get some um, dead hikers and stuff like that, and then you move into a more hillbilly theme. A little bit confused by that, but overall the ambiance felt the same. This one's also completely outdoors, whereas the main maze was indoors, and so was the darkness maze. Um, this one's all outdoors. Again, some really solid acting. This one had some of the best sets and props in Chambers of Fear, and I really liked the overall ambiance. And again, solid scares, great actors. I wish this one was maybe a little bit longer. This one was far shorter than the last two, I felt like. Sort of, not really tacked on because it was well thought through, but I just wish there was a bit more. And you had your classic um, chainsaw guy chasing you out at the end. Solid maze, again, great scares, great acting. I could, they're perfect. The one thing here is the end of this maze is around the back of the building that you entered from. And I think it does a lot psychologically to see the people exiting the maze from the entrance. It gets you psyched up. You're seeing these people come bolting out of the end of this maze. They're scared as crap. And it's going to get you psyched up and sort of get everything, adrenaline pumping and everything, before you even get into the maze. So not seeing the end of the maze from sort of the front, I think, is hurting Chambers of Fear a bit. Because there were scared people bolting out of there. And if there was a way to move that closer to the line so that they would see those people bolting out, I think that would really work in their favor. Overall, great solid maze. Well worth the money and the driveway across town for me. But um, the only thing I could say is a couple of the production issues with the sets. But I think those could easily be fixed and everyone seemed like they were doing a great job of scaring and they really liked everything. So I think this is going to be a solid entry every year and I'll be hitting it again. So thank you, Chambers of Fear, and I hope to see from you again next year. Everyone, tell me what you think. Get some comments going. What are your favorite mazes? And happy Halloween!